And you know what? I just, I, this is a, a, it hit me two days ago and I'm super in love with this idea. And we're about to do it. A kid sent a, a video on a direct message to our corporate and it was just like, you need to try our thing. But I watched his video and then I realized it wasn't directed at me. But if he had directed his video just to me, he had my full undivided attention for 45 seconds. Was it a product he was trying to sell you? Yeah, he's just like, you need to use our POS thing, blah, blah, blah. And it was it was like, hey, you out there. If he had said, hey, Mike, right? I really want you to check out this thing, I would have been, okay. So I think if you, you have access, instead of walking into the corporate of whoever is in your town and going past the secretary and going past this person and trying to get a meeting, you could do that with a selfie video saying your spiel, doing your elevator pitch, truly in the truest sense of the word, shy of the elevator, and then DM it. You could do that. No one is stopping you from doing that right now. And everyone has these chains on them. So yeah. that's what we're going to do for all of our people that we want to have a big corporate catering event with Andalini's is send them that. Anyone that's just on anything that's in your area, you could look up people that are getting married and then just say, would you want to cater with us for your wedding? We'd love to have you. Yeah. That is the same as doing a full blown paid for meeting. And it's absolutely free. I do that all the time on Instagram. If someone follows me or sends me a message, I'll either send them a voice text back or a video just saying, you know, either answering a question or just saying thanks for following or it's so much more personal and I'm a shitty typer. Like my spelling's terrible. So it's way easier for me just to say something or do a video than it is to type it all out anyway. So I just enjoy that part of it. I, and you're definitely one of the people that get it. It's, you know, talking and I, it's fascinating too how many people uh I know it's because of my staff anytime we have to do something like I don't I don't want to I'm, I'm not they're they're they walk around all day with their face showing it to people with their yeah. face but if a phone records it they're like oh hold on what's why I can't I can't possibly <laughs> and I think if you could just get over that and look at yourself in the mirror and do goofy faces and film yourself till you get over that same thing as people when they do public speaking they talk to people throughout their whole day and then they're in a room in front of five people and they're paralyzed. Yeah. It's the thought. It's like the anticipation and the thought of being in front of people talking. That is the most frightening versus when you actually get up there. Cause you're like, all right, it's just going to, if you mess up, you mess up that you're a human being. It happens.